Hi folks, Glenn here, back with another video for you. Real quick one this time, literally just to show you how you can use the X-Rite Color Checker Passport to get absolutely bang on colors in your pictures. Okay, so on screen, I'm in Lightroom, you can see that there's a whole variety of different pictures here. These are images that we took during the uh, male clothing line fashion shoot the other day. And just to give you an idea, let's just quickly click on attribute and flag, just so that you can see some of the picture to give the idea of what we're actually up to. Now what you will notice is that the lighting is pretty much similar in every single picture. And that's generally the way it goes when you're doing fashion shoots, because they literally just wanna get in, get the picture done, get them out, new item of clothing on, in they go, and it's a real fast turnaround. You can get a lot done in a very, very short space of time. It's just a case of getting the, the posing just right. So when it comes to these kind of pictures here, let's have a look at the, the whole grid here. What we've actually got is a whole load of pictures. At the very bottom, you're gonna see there's an extra couple of pictures as well here. Now this one here is a close-up of our model holding the color checker with the actual gray card open. That's so that we can do a, um, custom white balance at the time of the photo shoot. I actually took it at the end, which generally you'd want to take it at the start. But at the very end of the shoot, I've also taken a close-up picture of the model holding the color checker. Now it's really important to remember here, when he's holding this, he's not necessarily holding it directly towards the camera. He's actually gonna be holding it so it's positioned in the direction of the light source. Now in this particular photo shoot, I used cross lighting. I'll include a video link in the description of this video so you can see what I mean by cross lighting and how exactly to do it. But in this instance here, John, our model, is holding this x right color checker towards the octa, which is just off to the right-hand side of the screen. So now that we've got this, we've also got the x right color checker plugin installed in Lightroom. Here's what we do to create that profile so that we know the colors in our pictures are gonna be exactly how they should be and how we remember seeing them during the photo shoot. So all we do, we go to the file menu, we choose export with preset and here you've got a few options and you're gonna have x right presets and here you can see it says color checker passport. When you click on that, a little dialog box comes up and you get a little area here to put in a name. And the name of what this is going to be, I generally put in the name of the camera I used, what lighting I used and also what modifier I used. So in this instance, Canon 5D, I used a 70 to 200 millimeter lens I used the Elinchrom ELC 1000 and I had the 175 Octa. That's quite a long name there, but that'll now uh, enable me to come back to that particular preset at a later stage when I know that I was indoors in a studio using that exact same setup. What I do now is I click save. Lightroom then takes a few moments to analyze the picture you can see on the screen now and create a profile. Like I say, it takes a few seconds. Up in the top left hand corner of the screen, you can just about see the progress bar here kind of moving along. When it's finished doing it, hopefully we'll get a little pop-up dialog box saying that the profile has been created successfully. And there you go, it says Color Checker Passport. The profile has been generated successfully. Lightroom must be restarted to activate the profile. So all we do now then, we click OK. Then we close down Command Q to close Lightroom. And then we literally just open it back up again. Let's click on Lightroom to bring it back up. And when we do that, let's now go to the Develop module by pressing D. And we'll go to Camera Calibration just on the right hand side here. And we can see that we've got a load of them in here. And here we have the one that we just created, 5D 70-200 ELC 1000 plus 175 Octa. Now you'll see generally when we're using these uh, camera calibration, by default it's gonna be set to Adobe Standard, and that's what you can see on the screen now. But that isn't a true representation of the colors on the color checker during the photo shoot. Now if I literally just go over now to where it says Adobe Standard and choose that profile that we just created, if I just click on it, look at the difference that happens in the actual color patches just here. In particular, pay attention to this blue and this red one just here. I'll just go back to Adobe Standard. There we go, see how it changes. And now we go back to the profile we just created. Bang, see how much bluer and how much deeper that red is. And also this purple here, how much deeper that is. So all we need to do now when we go to our pictures is literally just highlight all of them 
and then we can apply that process. Once we've actually applied the uh, profile to this image, just copy those preset onto all the images here so that we know then that our image is exactly the color that it would have been during the particular photo shoot. So let me just try that on, let's say, uh, let's go to this image here of our model, go to the develop module. This is currently set to Adobe standard. I'll now change it to our profile and we can see how it changes it. Now, that's not to say that this is how you must use it. It's just giving you the exact coloring as near as damn it as what it was during the photo shoot. But now you can actually come in and start to make some changes. So you might wanna come in and just temper it down just a little bit. Let's go to the saturation, bring down the oranges, something like that. So it's not to say that you use the color checker. Those are the only colors you can use. It's just to give you a very good starting point. Just like you wanna have as good an exposure as you possibly can, you also wanna have as good a color as you possibly can to give you the best possible starting point when you're retouching your pictures. So there you go, just a really quick video to show you how you can use this x right Color Checker Passport here really quickly during your photo shoot and then when you're in Lightroom doing your retouching to make sure that your colors are absolutely bang on. Obviously you don't have to leave them like that for your final picture, it's just to give you the perfect starting point that you can then work on from. Now I mentioned in the video about there being a plugin, I'll put a link in the description to where you can download that plugin for the Color Checker from x right that'll be in the description, as well as the video showing you how I do that cross lighting using just one light. That's all for now, I'll see you next time.